look at how to publish a module in order for students to visit the organization of that module. Now keep in mind, I can always keep a module unpublished um, if I'm simply using it to organize my own content. But this can be really helpful uh, for students as they want to revisit uh, materials that you might have prepared for the class. To uh, publish the material, I'm simply going to uh, go to the uh, module itself and click on the cloud. By doing so, that will publish the all the course content located in the module itself. So you can see that all of these uh, clouds have turned green. One thing that I've decided that I actually don't want to do is I don't want to um, publish practice to yet because I'm not uh, finished uh, drafting and designing that for my students. Uh, to get a sense of what this might look like from the student view, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch views. And now um, here in the student view, I'm going to go ahead and uh, reload the page. And you'll notice here on the left hand side, now that I've published my first module and turned it on in my course settings, when my students click modules, they'll be able to navigate all the course materials that I've made available. And you'll notice here that all the materials are available except for practice two, which I had unpublished in that module. Modules are a great way for organizing course materials and be able to revisit um, items as well.